Hi viewers, once again we are back to give you some wonderful uh, actions. Today we are going to go straight to neck lock. Neck lock, probably you may have known the lock, but we are going to give you different ways on how to escape such neck lock. When we get to action, you will see the actual neck lock we are talking about. But before we get to action, for our first timers, do subscribe, hit the bell and leave your comment. Then, for those of us that are already uh, subscribers, continue to view our videos. Um, we appreciate you. All right, let's get straight to the action. Now, take your lock. Okay. Uh, this is the lock. I presume it's a, a, a very familiar and regular lock. And we're going to see the first um, action on how to defend this lock. The first thing you do is, like I always say, when there's a lock like this that has to do with your throat, with your neck, if, if you allow it, it will suffocate you because the lock will lock up good like that. It will suffocate you. But for you to ease off that suffocation, you willingly, once the lock comes, you willingly hold your breath. You'll be in control. Now, after holding your breath, the next thing is take one step closer to him and then with here shock at the back of the knee within the lap with that shock lock here and lock him back okay after this position now you stretch yourself upward and then drop a punch to the side here here and and then from here is weakened Bring him up just simple as that And that punch that lands there at the side there is not um, a careless punch. It's a very intentional punch. So it's very devastating. I'm just taking it two because I am controlling. But if I have to deliver, one is enough. Bam! And it goes down. Okay? All right. Let's run it again once more. Take the block. Okay? Like I said, Hold your breath for the first instance. At the first instance, the lock comes up. Hold your breath immediately. Sink yourself down. Get closer. And use the tip of your thumb here. And strike. Watch the strike here. Behind. Shock. Pam. Once you shock that, it goes down. Your hand is up here. And then lock back. So while locking back, because this shock here will already make him loosen up. Now, while it's loosening up and you already lock him you love him back the next thing is a bad a wicked punch here boom here and that is enough for him to go down boom boom and then bring him down simple all right okay now we're taking the second action now this is optional this is for you to choose from if you have an en such encounter and somebody locks you like that and decide to do the first one or this other one now okay now straight to the action okay take the lock the same lock like I said always hold your breath now this time around he goes a bit in locking you know put it makes your head is be above or be goes behind beyond his back now you feel ah what else can okay now try to make sure try to sink down as if you're sinking down lock it hard as if you want to throw me down good okay now from this point with my hand here i strike to the ground boom can you see that you see the action once i take the action it's it steps back the next thing is the punch here boom to the solar this point goes straight to can you see that that's what happens <laughs> That's the action. And once that is done, the hand is gone. Like I said, I'm trying to control it so that um, he won't be injured. So you have to be careful when you are doing that. So let's take it one more time. Locks. Good. Sinks down. I see he's throwing me down. Now, in this point, it's even giving me more advantage to have my way for the strike. Get take a strike to the ground, pop here, and it goes. And the next thing is, pop, it's scoop here. Now, from here, see what happens.
Okay, now, let me take more attention and analysis on that point because that technique is very technical. You might see it as if he's still holding. That very point, I delivered it with a max 100% control. So you didn't see him reacting that much, but you saw him jerking with even with that control. So that tells you that if it was fully released, he would be down without you knowing. Okay, now this is how the punch goes. It leaves him up from here within the solar region. Can you see that? That's the punch. There's no way you can take such punch and stand, especially when you are like this. And the punch is bearing in, scooping up. You must go down. So that's the action. First thing, like I showed us, you take groin, strike, and the groin strike gives you allowance to pam, twist in for that punch. Let's take a swift action, but I will, I'm going to be very careful. Okay? Straight, wrap, take the lock. All right. Now, from here, I take my position and I take pam here and pam here. Check up with the control. It's an hundred percent. It's hundred percent control, but it's still jack. So that's to tell you, if I'd release up to ten or twenty percent of the blow, then he would have been down. To show you how devastating that technique is. All right. So let's go straight to the third action, so that you can have different options to choose from. Okay. Now straight down. Lock. Good. Very hard look. Good. The next thing, like I said, hold your breath. And from here, you can choose whichever shock you want to apply. You can apply a shock to the straight on the spinal cord. Pop. Pop there. Or you apply the shock straight in between at the back of the knee. A hammer strike. Boom. It takes him down. Now, once you do that, the next thing, because he will take you with the neck as if he's going down, the next thing is release one here, okay. release another one here. This one here will now bring him back on, and this one goes within the groin area. Power will bring him back. Now, once he brings him back, the next thing, you grab here, grab the hand here, and then lock and roll out. That's the action. Okay? Now let's take that again. More explanation for, for us to really understand. I take the lock again. And for emphasis, like I said, you can choose to take the hammer or the strike on the spine. But you must know the result which each will bring. This one will give you the result. He will only jack and still standing while you take your lock here. But this one will take him down. When it takes him down, he throws you to, to an uncomfortable position. Now, how you bring him back to that comfortable position for you to take your final action is another strike to the groin here. It will, it will jack him up here. Now, from here now, you take your lock here, straight within the wrist, and turn. Ah. Now from here, you can take any action. Take a punch here. Take a punch here. With this hand already locked. Okay? That's it. Let's, uh, let's keep it, call it a day for today. We'll come your way another day and another time with more actions. So I want to remind you, our esteemed uh, uh, subscribers, Stay tuned to our channels and keep watching and learning. Then for our new comers, subscribe and stay tuned and be watching more exciting actions that will help you every day of your life. Thank you.